I've been doing a lot more 3D projects that uh, require shallow depth of field and for the most part I usually do this within Lightwave itself, um, ray tracing the depth of field. And to do that I need to have really high samples um, like these which results in frankly uh, quite ludicrous render times. Not too bad for stills but animation is another problem. Um, as we can see here this one took, this is a 720 image and it took one hour to complete. Um, we have the nice out of focus areas here, particularly uh, um, around the non, you know, the non contrast areas do really well. But the points of highlight here, yeah, you, you're starting to get these nice kind of bokeh balls appear. But as you can see, the sampling, it just needs more samples. So uh, it would need longer render times, which isn't great. So I started looking at other options and um, Nuke does some really great stuff uh, using a depth, like a Z depth out of Z depth buffer out of light wave, you can create these nice effects. And the, the Bokka is really smooth, so that's great. There's a little bit of aliasing around the edges and stuff, but for the most part, it does, it does really well. Um, also within light wave still, using DP kit, uh, just call that up. Via the image node filter, you can defocus uh, uh, the, with the depth of fill filter as part of D DP kit, um, which is great. And the effect is reasonably good. Uh, again, on the lower contrast areas, it works well. But as soon as you get to these high contrast highlight dots, pretty much a pixel only, um, it starts to fall down a little bit as it, just, it duplicates. It both has the highlighted dot and the Bokka effect around it too. Um, yeah, so good for some things, not for others. Uh, then uh, the one I actually settled on was the Lenscare plugin by F Frischluft, Frischluft um, which does a nice job at keeping these really nice out of focus bokeh balls and the edges aren't too bad either. There's a little bit of weird artifacting going on but for the most part pretty good. So I thought I'd show you um, my workflow going from Lightwave to After Effects and creating this effect and animating it as well. So the first thing we can do, which is fantastic, is we can turn down our samples massively. So I'm going to go from minimum samples of 2 to 1 and maximum, sam ma maximum samples of 512 to 16. I'm also going to up the threshold as well so it has even less to compute. Um, obviously I don't need depth of field on anymore because I'm going to be doing this in post so make sure that is off and we need to set our depth buffer as well so for this I have the depth uh, with normalized to 8-bit unchecked and limit range to 10 meters as to focus on the cup itself requires about 3.3 meters and so I thought I'd give myself a little bit of leeway okay let's do a render Okay, EXRs are done and I have exported the images in full 32-bit float mode uh, via EXR and I'm going to import them into After Effects. So let's take our depth and our beauty pass, drag them onto a comp, single composition, no overlap, and there we go. We have our depth and we have our beauty pass with all its speckly dotty glory. Um, so the first thing we can see from the depth is that we have apparently no other values here. It's all just one chunk of white, but that's because we're in 8-bit mode and we need to be in 32, where we can now drag a levels effect onto depth, taking our input black and moving it until we start to see a Z depth appear. So I'm just going to tweak this a little bit so we've got enough values there. To work from. Uh, with that done, let's right click and pre compose, move everything into a new composition. Uh, before I do that, I'm just going to give myself a little bit more. Let's give it 60 frames. Cool. And pre compose, move everything in. I'm just going to call this depth. Wow, I spelled that super wrong. Um, 
let's drag on our lens care plugin select the depth map the depth map uh, choose where we want to focus and I'm just gonna have this off here because sometimes it's a bit flaky and tends to crash I'm gonna halve the resolution as well and start pulling in the defocused areas looking nice okay that's that's nice um, just check it at full resolution excellent this is the kind of effect we want okay now to animate the effect I'm gonna just start animating the focal point let's create a key you on the keyboard to expand that key and I'm just gonna create a couple of keys just so we've got like a hunting effect so it's it's trying to pull focus and it hunts around a bit before it finds it and that should do let's get the graph editor up because so I'm gonna start quite a bit ooh let's go down to half again so we can speed stuff up I'll just go down to a third um, so front focused a lot here and we can back focus there a bit of front more back and then it finds its focus smooth those key transitions out quick preview cool looks good might just give a little bit of a space at the end there by holding down alt and dragging all the keys back cool but that isn't the only thing we're going to animate because if I show you here when you focus far the field of view changes or when you focus the field of view changes so far you get more field of view and close it becomes narrower so let's mimic that as well by adding an adjustment layer control alt y and bringing up transform alt clicking uh, the scale value and using the pick whip tool here we're just going to pick whip our focal point okay now we have those linked uh, and they are linked but that is a fairly extreme kind of field of view breathing thing going on so let's divide this by 80 and plus 100 okay that looks a little bit nicer and we don't you know we don't lose a huge amount of uh, of the render as well okay there we go there is the finished effect let's just see if we can load that up full res so for the most part each frame here took about two minutes to render and the the effect as you can see here you know it's a matter of seconds to render these uh, per frame and for me this is kind of the, the option I'm gonna go with for doing animation now just because it's just so much faster um, I've also put a blog article up as well uh, if you go to my website blog Uh, and it just shows you a kind of breakdown of the various different effects that uh, the various testing I've been used doing really um, for, for different effects yeah thanks for watching